Like, what if you just remember who you are and you have one swift decree within yourself that sets it straight, what it is and what it ain't and who's in charge? <laughs> what did you surprise, shoddy crew? And hey, my Daisy loves. I pray y'all have been having an amazing week and amazing Thursday. Um, I am really excited about all of the revelation God has been giving me lately and I'm excited about sharing it with you all. So I pray that y'all would just be patient with me and continue to keep me uplifted okay um you may be waiting on somebody to remember you but god is saying that you need to remember you okay you may be waiting on somebody to remember you and god is saying remember you and so when you hear that you may automatically know what bible story that i'm referencing and it is joseph okay and i am really grateful um, just being able to read it and getting more from it because I've always related to Joseph. Hashtag call me little Josephine. But in reading it lately, it's been like, hold on, wait a minute, right? It's just the growth for me. Like Joseph started off having these dreams, you know, just telling the dreams. And, you know, you have to learn in that. You have to grow in that. You shouldn't just be telling everybody what you're dreaming, okay? Not the internet, not your family, whatever, okay? Um, you got to give things time to come to pass. You have to give yourself time to develop and mature. And so all the words that I'm going to be doing, they're going to connect like always. But like these next few for real, like there's going to be pieces and parts to all of them that are going to um, tie in. OK, but you have to let the word be um, proven in, in their scripture and Psalms. I'm sharing another video that says that the word tested Joseph his character okay but to see how he went from that joseph to hold on pharaoh needs somebody to interpret these dreams and then there's one swift decree and it's up and it's stuck right so we're going to talk about that but another thing i want to mention is the fact that we really do be drawing parallels over here generally generally no matter what it is we're talking about on this platform in this community it's always going to be you and god then you and you. And that's something we've had to insert and be very mindful and intentional about lately, right? Like my relationship with myself, right? And then you and your spouse, okay? It's always going to be like that. And of course, you and others. But when you watch any of these kingdom marriage words, it's going to be you and God, your relationship with yourself, and your relationship with your spouse, okay? So you have to remember. I do have the scripture pulled up and I'm not going to read two chapters to y'all, but um, Genesis 40 and 23, Joseph is forgotten. Genesis 41 verses 9 through 13, Joseph is remembered. Genesis chapter 41 verse 14, Joseph is sent for. In Genesis chapter 41 verse 40, there is one swift decree. And I shared those verses in a, in a community post the other night. And so one of the things that God was speaking to me about was being in a prison, but the prison is within. Okay. And a reference lie for this is let it be beautiful when we're talking about the Lion King, because we know there's a part in the movie where he, uh, Simba has to remember who he is right and it was so easy for me to get on that live and be like your husband gotta remember who he is your husband gotta remember who he is the whole time i needed to remember who i was okay so you can be in a prison within and in order to come out of that prison you have to remember who you are so in the story of joseph we see it's the cupbearer right who oh yeah i forgot about my man joseph and he remembers him and then pharaoh sends for him but it's you who needs to remember you okay holy spirit said fact check so i'm gonna go with it for those of you who are gifted in the same manner as me have you ever went through a bout of time and you like yo i'm missing i don't even know what i'm talking about and then all of a sudden god will it seems like all these things you previously said they manifest and it's like what yeah let me remind you that I gave you those words. Let me remind you that you really do dream because I let my spirit fall on you, rest on you. Let me remind you that you really do have the ability to interpret. Let me remind you that you really do have wisdom and discernment that only comes from heaven. That's what they had to remember. That's why they went and sent for Joseph and that's the gift that made room for him. But it's really and truly not just about our gifts. It's all of it. And so when you remember who you are, whose you are, that's how you come out of prison. Right? Hold on. 
God said that I'm called to this, right? Now you're immediately one swift decree, decree coming out of that prison. For me, right now in this hour, in this moment, it's fear. It's fear. I'm in prison within because of fear. I'm noticing like, oh, fear been having its way with me. It's so easy to get on here and be like, the husbands, the husbands, the husbands. What you got going on, right? And it's been fear for me. Inadequacy, all these things. And it's when I remember who I am. And it's crazy because it's like I'm going back and I'm picking up all these things about me. I'm remembering all these things that I used to want. All these things that I used to desire. All these things that I used to dream of. Dream of doing. All these things that used to be so, so naturally, naturally me. But something came along. Something was said. Something happened. And I forgot. I forgot, God. And even with your kingdom spouse, remembering like, that's my husband. I've been having moments like that. And I don't mean like, like the, uh, like just the stuff from like the last year or two. He will flash me back to years ago. That's my husband. And then I will have moments in God's presence where I feel him so strongly. God and my husband. I know we had something going on before I got to earth, right? Ain't no way. You have to remember. You have to remember the covenant. You have to remember the word spoken. And when you can remember that, regardless of if it's over you, over your union, over your purpose, over your assignment, child, I said you would be on YouTube. Whatever it is, right? And then when you remember, you can come out of that prison. You are calling yourself out of that prison. Okay? So I want to hit the verses, but then it's also um, a song. But let's hit Genesis 40 and 23 real quick. It says, the chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. Whether that your spouse forgot you, you forgot you. Because I'm also realizing like, because I forgot me, it was real easy for him to forget me. Right? Because I forgot me. So when God is saying, love yourself. When God is saying, love you, put you first. Not above him, but above your spouse because you and your spouse need to love each other. Have a good relationship with oneself within. That's real. Even when the work has been done, things can be forgotten. The chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. Period. That's how that chapter ends. Okay? So if we go to Genesis chapter 4. 41 y'all bear with me because i'm actually trying to like do this live time and we go to verses 9 through 13 which hello amos has been hunting me down again 9 and 13 like what is happening but um uh verse 9 though in genesis 41 then the chief cupbearer said to pharaoh today i am reminded of my shortcomings pharaoh was once angry with his servants and he imprisoned me and the chief baker in the house of the captain of the guard each of us had a dream the same night, and each dream had a meaning of its own. Now a young Hebrew was there with us, a servant of the captain of the guard. We told him our dreams, and he interpreted them for us, giving each man the interpretation of his dream. And things turned out exactly as he interpreted them to us. I was restored to my position. Joseph out here interpreting dreams. And other people being restored. I was restored to my position. And the other man was in Paul. So I'm being put to death. That sounds about right, right? That sounds about right. Okay. So hit him with the say less. Verse 14. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph. And he was quickly brought from the dungeon. Quickly brought from the dungeon. This is all a process. But quickly you went from... They forgot you to all oh, they remember now. Go get him. When he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. So even before that, he had to clean up a little bit, right? We might be going through a little clean up a little bit process, right? All right. So we're going to fast forward to chapter or verse 40. So Pharaoh telling him to dream all that. Just is like, okay, boom, bam, because you're prepared in the prison. Even though I've been in a prison of fear. I still been performing in the prison, okay? I'm getting excited. Verse 40, you shall be in charge of my palace and all my people are to submit to your orders. 
only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. And so often you can read that and you can think like, okay, well, somebody going to remember me and then somebody going to come put me in charge. What if it's you remembering you and it's you putting that version of you and it's you putting that version of you in charge? And what if after you do that and you have fearful Megan take a seat, lack of confidence Megan take a seat, Megan who just reaching and grabbing because she really not sure, take a seat. What if you let the you that remembers you, that remembers God's word, what if you put her in charge? And with respect to the throne, only Pharaoh will be greater. What if it's going to be God, Megan, who remembers who she is in God, right? Then the palace and all the people will submit to that. What if after you do that, your husband comes in and he says that to you? With respect to the throne, only I will be greater than you. God, your husband, and then you. But your husband is telling you, you, you can be in charge of my palace and all my people are to submit to your orders. Now, I ain't going to hold you. When I read that, all I heard was taking care of my husband's household. And my husband's seed to include children, right? And in charge with respect to the throne, though, underneath him. Reigning in the position that I'm supposed to have. Do y'all hear me? So what if you need to remember you instead of waiting on somebody to remember you because if you haven't remembered you what exactly are they remembering i don't know who needs that i know i needed that because that's the work that i've been doing internally so i can come out of prison within okay so i'm not gonna do the whole song but it's keisha cole i remember and the part in particular that i kept singing was for the rest of my life, I promise myself I will love me first, genuinely. You can't even show up authentically, genuinely, right? Real raw, if you don't remember who you are. So how are you going to do that even in the face of your husband, in the face of YouTube, in the face of people, right? For the rest of my life, I promise myself I will love me first, Genuinely, of course, that's after God, right? But you need him to love you anyways, right? So the song is a breakup song, okay? But for me, I always hear things multiple ways. Like I hear me talking to me. I hear me talking to my spouse. I hear, I hear me, me talk talking to God. Because when we walk away from home, when we walk away from God, when we walk away from our true identity, our true calling, our true destiny, our true assignments, much like Simba and his daddy is telling him, like, you have forgot me because you forgot you. You forgot you. So how are you even remembering me? Because I, I made you. I taught you. I formed you. I created you. I predestined you. That's God talking to us, right? So when you forget those things that are you, baby girl, that are you, son, you have forgot me. Where were you when I said I loved you? Now, for me, that's me and me and me and him, right? Me and him being babe. And where were you when I cried at night? Right, because had I showed up as me, probably wouldn't have been in that situation, right? Probably could have avoided that. Weighing up, couldn't sleep without you. You know how weird it is to like know you not really living your life, to know you not really like, this ain't me. I remember feeling like that in 2021, like I'm an imposter. I felt like that in my own body, in my own life, like this is not it. Can't sleep, no peace because you're not in alignment within yourself. How are you going to be in alignment with somebody else and you struggling to be in alignment with yourself okay thinking of all the times we shared 
Like when I was seven and I really believed I could do that. Or like when I was 12 and I really believed God was calling me to that. Or when I was 18 and I really wanted to do that, God. But somebody got in my ear. Do you feel what I'm saying? I remember when my heart broke. I remember when I gave up loving you. And for me, I can tell y'all what moments where it was like, God, I'm not doing this with you. Why did she have to die? Why did he have to leave? I remember that. And so instead of remembering that though, remember who you were, who you are, because it's not too late. So many beautiful words and revelations that he's been giving me and some he's been gave me, but it's just been hard for me to hold on to him because I needed to be me to hold on to him. I needed to remember me to hold on to them. My heart couldn't take no more of you. I was sad and lonely. I know my heart can't take no more counterfeit Meg. I'm in a point right now where it's like, she got to go. I can't. <laughs> I'm sad and lonely because what is she doing? <laughs> I remember when I walked out. I remember. I remember. Please stick around for the next few uploads, okay? I remember when I screamed, I hated you. But somehow deep inside, still loving you, sad and lonely. Have you ever hated yourself? For some, you could hate yourself right now and you haven't been able to identify that that's what's going on. But still, I love you. How? You don't really hate you, but those false versions of you. Those imprisoned versions. But somehow deep inside, still loving you. I remember when I wanted to hate my spouse. Never could. I've tried, y'all. Uh, never could, though. Somehow, deep inside, still loving you. I wanted to be done with God a couple of few times. Won't let me do it. I can't. Sad and lonely. No one knew all the pain I went through. All the love I say deep in my heart for you. Ooh. At bay. Didn't know where I would go where I would be, but you made me leave. I hear me and me and me and him. And plus my heart, it just, it just kept telling me so. I remember when my heart broke. I remember when I gave up loving you. My heart couldn't take no more of you. I was sad and lonely. So she pretty much repeats that for the rest of the song. Some feel like you in a prison of sad and lonely. But instead of focusing on the prison that you're in or not even realizing the prison that you're in, ask God to show you what's trying to constrain you and what's keeping you from being the you that he has called you to be, what's keeping you from going into the places that he has called you to, what's keeping you from showing up as the version of you that he created and called you to be what's keeping you from being able to have these relationships not just with your spouse but have these relationships to be in these positions ask him that ask him to help you remember you stop waiting on somebody else to remember you and go to who formed you and ask him to help you remember you and watch how swiftly things change for you. It only takes one swift decree. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, since God has made all this known to you, there is no one so discerning and wise as you, especially when it comes to you. Okay. You shall be in charge of my palace your temple, you in charge, the you that remembers, that's wise and discerns who you are. And all my people are to submit to your orders. The you in prison ain't in charge. How you gonna be in charge of you in prison? That don't even make sense, right? Only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. So I pray that this encourages you, this strengthens you, and y'all stay tuned for all the uploads that's gonna come after this. Love y'all.